Welcome to video one, face coverings. In this video, we cover why we use face coverings, selecting the best covering for you, and how to correctly wear your face covering. Face coverings are our first line of defense against the COVID-19 virus, and we use them to protect others and ourselves. Even people with no symptoms can be infected with COVID-19, so wearing a face covering at all times is essential for drivers and passengers. Understanding how the COVID-19 virus spreads helps explain the importance of face coverings and why we wear them. Without a face covering, the virus goes from person to person in a number of ways. One, from moist particles that spray out of an infected person's mouth and nose when they sneeze or cough. These are called droplets. Two, from droplets landing on nearby surfaces and then touching that surface and then touching your mouth or face. Three, from very small particles called aerosols. In a person infected with COVID-19, these particles contain the virus, and when a person speaks, sings, or talks loudly, they float in the air. If another person breathes the air with these particles, they could get infected with COVID-19. Aerosol particles are tricky because they linger in the air. However, we know that having good air circulation reduces our chances of breathing in these particles. Face coverings come in a variety of styles and vary in comfort and types of material used. Here are the things to consider when choosing the best covering for you. Select a covering made with denser fabric or one that has two or three layers of material. A mask with multiple layers can stop more virus particles from escaping. Make sure the covering is made of breathable material. And select a covering that fits snugly against your face. Let's now look at three main types of face coverings. Cloth face coverings, surgical masks, and KN95s. Cloth face coverings such as store-bought or homemade can block large droplets, but usually cannot block very small aerosols. Remember, those particles are super small. Cloth face coverings are generally comfortable and can be washed and reused. Hand wash with soap or machine wash once a day or after eight hours of use. Make sure your covering is completely dry before using again. Wet coverings are not effective. Surgical masks are coverings made out of breathable, lightweight material with synthetic fibers that block droplet particles and some aerosol particles. They also have straps and a nose clip that you can adjust to keep the mask in place and mold it to your face. Surgical masks are disposable and cannot be washed. They can be reused for up to five days and then need to be disposed of and put in the trash. KN95s are a type of mask made of higher grade material that can block more aerosol particles, but they are less breathable than surgical masks. KN95s, like surgical masks, are disposable and cannot be washed. Do not, however, use N95 respirators. These respirators need to be fitted by medical professionals for effectiveness and the wearer's safety, and it is essential we save these respirators for our healthcare workers. When storing any of these face coverings between uses, be sure to place them in a designated bag where others cannot touch them. And don't leave your covering in common areas like countertops or the kitchen table where others might come in contact with germs trapped in the covering. A few last things to consider when choosing your face covering. Do not use coverings with valves. The main goal of a face covering is to block particles that have the COVID-19 virus. Valves could allow these particles to escape and are not effective at stopping the spread. And do not use face shields. They are not a substitute for face masks and might block visibility while driving. If you are at a higher risk of exposure or severe illness from COVID-19, Consider using two face coverings, or a KN95. To wear two masks, use the surgical mask underneath and place the cloth face covering on top. Do not wear two surgical masks. Do not wear the KN95 with any other face covering. Now let's review how to correctly wear your face covering. This is important because coverings are effective when they are worn properly. 
Make sure the face covering is placed over your nose and mouth, is below the chin, gives you a good snug fit without any gaps, stays in place, and allows you to breathe well. Lastly, follow these steps when putting on and taking off your face covering. 1. Wash your hands with soap and water or use sanitizer before putting on your covering and when taking it off. 2. Handle the face covering by the straps and avoid touching it throughout the day. Remember, keep your face covering on for the entire time you're working, not just when you have a passenger in the car. And always have several clean face coverings as a backup. Face coverings are our first line of defense against viruses that spread through the air. Take the time and choose the face covering that works best for you.